Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason with Suburban Adventures and today we are getting a little snow. It's uh, March 9th and we're getting a little bit more than they said. So today I wanted to talk with you about my uh, battery powered snow blower. Just give you a review of it and talk about whether they work and if they're worth the price or not. <clears throat> So this is the uh, Greenworks 20 inch, you can see there, uh, battery operated uh, snow blower. I've had this for a couple of years now. Um, and so I'm just gonna give you a little rundown of the machine and uh, what it comes with, and then we'll test it out and see how it does uh, with the snow. It's got a 80 volt lithium battery and a quick charger. It comes with each of those, the battery and the charger. The battery has a uh, indicator light that you can push. It tells you how much your charge is at. Obviously three green lights is fully charged. And then one blinking green light is out of charge. I'm going to charge it up now and when that green light is blinking it means it's charging. It takes about 20 minutes for fully charge. Now, obviously as I showed you this is closer to a full charge so it'll probably take less than that but when it's totally empty it takes about 20 minutes to fully charge. You can see battery goes right there. I'm going to pop the battery in. Three green lights, battery's full charge. And we'll see how long that battery's going to last for. So it's got a uh, chute here that you can rotate and turn with a little handle up here. So that's pretty handy. Uh, and then this chute, you can also adjust how high you want it to shoot or how low you want it to shoot. The augers on it, as you can see, are made of plastic, um, but you can see they're a little bit scuffed up, but uh, I probably have had this for four or five years at least. Uh, it does come with some lights, and you can turn the lights on, but of course, um, you know, the only issue with that is, is that's going to result in more battery drain. Um, and then to start it up, it's really pretty simple. It's got this handle here. You hold the button down and you pull this handle up at the same time. Hold. And it fires. And it fires right up. So that is the nice thing about it. Now I do have another one. That's my gas powered snow blower. Um, so, uh, like I said, I'm going to show you how much snow we got. You can actually see that it is still coming down. They said one to three inches, but we've already got probably more than that. So I'm going to test it out and see how it handles this. It's March. It's about 33, 34 degrees out. So it is a wet snow. Um, so we'll see if it can handle it. All right, so we got some untouched snow. Let's see how much we got. Let's go. We have, I'm gonna say, let's check it again. I'm gonna say at least three. Looks like we got at least three, three and a half, three and a half inches. Okay, so I'm gonna test it out and see how it does, if it can handle three and a half inches of snow. Like I said, this is the 20 inch. Now, as far as price goes, I remember a couple years ago what it was, but they go for about $399, $399 right now. So they're not inexpensive, right? Um, it's probably about comparable for what you would spend if you're gonna buy a 20 inch gas powered. So let's see how it handles this.
of the things you'll notice right away is because the snow is wet and heavy, it was spraying a lot of it out this way because I just don't think that it has the ability to shoot it up through the, uh, the chute here. I don't know all the technical terms. And it's also getting jammed in there, which, which happens with other ones as well. Um, you know, as I'm going this way, it's not bad. I would say it's wet snow, so I would say this is definitely the limit, three and a half to four inches. If it's if it's not wet, if it's light and fluffy, I don't think I'm gonna have the problem. Um, but, you know, it, it is about at the max of, of what it can handle. So that, you know, gives you a little overview of how well it works. You can tell we're really, it's really coming down here. I'm going to try and use it a little bit out on my sidewalk just to give you some perspective of how long the battery lasts. But with it being so wet and heavy, I think I might have to flip over to my actual gas-powered snowblower. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how long the battery lasts, and then we'll wrap things up here with a quick overview. Well, I really wanted to try and see how long the battery would last, but it's just too wet and heavy. I had to keep stopping and clearing it, and it was jamming in here. Um, you can see right there. So I, I think that right there tells you something. If it's a wet, heavy snow, three and a half inches is by over the max. I was 11 minutes in on the battery and you can see there that i'm down to one bar um heavy use i would say you'll get 15 minutes out of the battery um lighter use you could get probably 20 minutes and like i said earlier it takes about 20 minutes to charge so would i recommend one of these if you're in an area where you get a lot of light snow a couple inches or if you're going to use it and uh just go out every couple hours when you're going to get a big storm and do two or three inches at a time yeah i think it's fine if you want to buy it to just do your deck or your sidewalk or you know it's something that's going to handle light snow sure but anything over three inches at least for this one they do make bigger ones they make a lot bigger one uh you know three three and a half inches is the max for this one it's a heavy wet snow Okay, so there's my review. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. Suburban Adventures this is our family outdoor adventure channel. And sometimes I do reviews of products. Uh, I wanted to just test out this battery operated snowblower, which I have had for a while and I have used quite a bit. Um, if you have any questions about it, I know a lot of times with these reviews, I think of stuff afterwards that I should have said. So you can comment below and ask me other questions that I'll try and answer. But Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click subscribe. Check out more of our videos. We'll see you next time.